Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. So I'm going to be doing a spread on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine for June 10th, 2024. The first card I'm getting for Divine Feminine is Temperance. So I'm seeing that a lot of healing is going on in the cellular body for the Divine Feminine. She's releasing a lot of repressed emotions toward her Divine Masculine, such as anger, um, grief, jealousy, um, shame, and guilt. All these emotions are coming up. So the Divine Feminine may be feeling really, really emotional today because she is clearing all that is not of love so she can align to the, um, her highest possible timeline. So I'm seeing that the Divine Feminine is also clearing the Father Wound right now. And in doing so, she is showing up for herself in a way that she hasn't before. She's actually starting to see past the narrative she is telling herself about the Divine Masculine. And she's aligning to her true authentic self. So there is change going on in the connection. With the Lover's card, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is taking her focus off the situation with the um, Divine Masculine. And um, making it all about herself. So I feel as though for the longest time, she was actually drawing comparisons between her and a karmic. But I feel as though now the Divine Feminine is seeing that um, there is no competition whatsoever. There is no, um, there is, there's no one better than or worse than. She's starting to think less in terms of ego and more in terms of the soul. So I'm seeing that she's seeing from a higher perspective that this situation is here to teach her something. And she was focused, so focused on removing it that she is, was failing to gather the lesson. So now the Divine Feminine is being receptive now. She's being receptive to what's being taught to her. And the last card I'm getting is the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands, I feel as though now the Divine Feminine is working through these triggers. She's working through this um, trauma that was brought up. She's no longer trying to subliminate it or um, push it down. She's simply transmuting it. She's feeling all of that um, anger. She's feeling all of that um, jealousy, sorrow, grief, guilt, shame. It's all coming up, and she's feeling it. She's allowing it to have a um, voice. She's allowing it to have a direction. She's not shaming herself for feeling this way. She's accepting that because she's seeing now that um, she does have a right to be angry. Her reality is valid, and she's giving herself that reassurance that she was once seeking from the divine masculine because she knows her inherent worth. And that's what I get for the divine feminine. So now I'm going to be doing um, the divine masculine. So the first card I get for divine masculine is Bluebell Fairy. So I feel as though the divine masculine is doing a lot of inner child trauma work around the father and the mother room. So I feel as though he is starting to see past the um, he's starting to see past the um, narratives of not I'm not enough. I'm not um, I'm I'm not qual I'm not, I'm not um, I'm not smart enough. I'm not pretty handsome enough. Um. All of that, like whatever um, falsehoods he's been telling himself, he is actually um, discarding it. He is also starting to get less out of his head and more into his heart space. So I feel as though the divine masculine is starting to align more with the divine flow of things. And the divine flow of things is showing him how to live in a moment. He is clearing disassociation trauma right now. He is clearing that trauma so he can be his most authentic self. Divine Masculine is determined to show up for Divine Feminine and, um, because he feels as though that she deserves that. He feels her anger. He feels her animosity. And he feels like he needs to come correct. So he is not really um, worried about... Um, he's not really worried about whether he can't. He's more determined to break past that so he can be that person. He is no longer making excuses. With the um, success, I'm seeing the Divine Masculine clearing his fear of success, his fear of failure. And he's starting to see that those fears kept him self-sabotaging the connection with the Divine Feminine, but also in his overall life. He's starting to see the patterns that um, um, correlate 
well, not just himself, but rather um, the Divine Feminine. And he's starting to see how it's all interconnected. So the Divine Masculine is seeing things through the lens of oneness. He is seeing things through the lens of unity consciousness. And he's starting to see that fear has no place in his life. So I'm seeing that at the moment he is seeing a lot of things about his family life that he was refusing to see. But he's starting to get the hint that it is not for him. And he should stop trying to make it for him. Because what's meant for him wouldn't um wouldn't cause him so much pain, wouldn't cause him so much turmoil. So the divine masculine is clearing blocks of self acceptance and breaking free of the patterns um that he was trapped in. With the moonlight enchantment, I'm seeing that a lot of energy around the oh yeah, a lot of energy is being cleared right now for the divine masculine. It has to do when it comes to faith and trust. So the Divine Masculine was thinking that he didn't trust the connection. He didn't trust the magic because he didn't trust himself. And now the Divine Masculine is determined to do that. He's determined to choose love because he believes that nothing is as divine and lovely as the connection he shares with the Divine Feminine. He has such plans for her and he means to fulfill each and every one of them. And that's what I get for the Divine Masculine. If you want to book a personal with me, my email and Facebook link is in the description box below. I will see you another time. Namaste.